What's going on guys? Here at Bucky's. Today we're filming a vlog. We're filming a healthy travel eats at Bucky's. So follow along, see what I pick up for Drew. She's on a diet, and I'm on a diet. And we'll see what we can get. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start off on the chip aisle. They got quite a few options. Not as much as they used to. But it's not bad. So, let's see. I feel like pork rinds are always really good. And right here they've got a habanero. Okay. Also, I think we should get some peanuts. They got these flaming hot peanuts. And also these ones are really good. Drew's not the biggest fan of peanuts, but I do like peanuts, so get some of these peanuts. Drew is a big fan of Chex Mix. So I feel like Chex Mix might be a good thing for her. So let's see. Let's do. I feel like her would she'd like cheddar Chex Mix. And they've got a white cheddar Chex Mix. So let's get both of those. Now I'm not sure if this is healthy, but Drew absolutely loves the peanut butter blast trail mix. So I am gonna pick this up for her. Got a Red Bull for me. And this one for Drew. Um, but my sweet husband went into Bucky's and got us a ton of goodies and snacks. I don't know how much you guys saw. And it's like super wobbly. I don't know how much you guys saw because he said the camera died. Um, but he got me this really good grilled fajita taco. It has grilled chicken, some peppers, and there's no onions. I think it's just peppers and a tortilla. So that's really good and low in calorie. I am so thankful for my sweet husband that went in and got me all these really good snacks. He got me some like crackers, some chicken salad. He got me meat sticks. Um... He got me some pickles so i'm really excited so this is gonna be kind of like a day in the life plus how to eat healthy when you're on the go and on a road trip so last bit i bumped it started so my husband got me a cup of ice so i'm gonna take this drink that i already brought from home they're kroger sparkling water beverages there's zero calories zero carbs zero everything this one is the strawberry flavor it's really tight so i feel like once i open it it's gonna explode And I've had these for a while. My mom brought me these when I got my wisdom teeth taken out. So, but I couldn't have anything carbonated. If this thing explodes. Oh, is it? Ew, it's probably not, it's probably flat. Cause it's kinda old. No, it's good. Try it. I'm okay baby, thank you. Okay. Let's see if Drew can do this without making a mess. Vision. There we go. Oh. So I did spill. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Ew. I don't think I like that very much. I think I like the HEB ones better. But he also got me a. Did you get me the Celsius? Yeah. 
So you got me this Celsius strawberry guava. So let's try it. I haven't had any coffee today. That's what's wrong with me. I haven't had any coffee today and my brain is like going nuts. Oh, Gabe, yeah, I like that. I know you never tried that one, so I'll grab that one. Mm. I like that one. Thank you, love you. You're welcome. I've never had that before. That's so good. And this is 10 calories, zero grams of sugar, and it's two carbs. So really good. What was that? Yay! It's corn. It has the juice. It has the juice. He can't help but smile at me when he's in a bad mood. Okay. He also got me these pickles. These are 15 calories per container. And there's 3.5 ounces in them, which is the whole container. These are so stinking good. They look like this. It has the juice. Heavy. There's my juice. They're so crushed back. Mm. Oh. That's a good pickle. Why do I think it smells like cat pee? Ew. I can't eat it. These taste weird. Taste weird? Ah! I'm so sad. Why are you sad? Because. I forgot your Skittles. Because my husband is the best and I said only healthy items and he didn't give me any Skittles. I got you your trail mix. Yeah, but that is not Skittles in it. Or Starburst is. But that's just, that's just the thing. I literally, it, I literally almost grabbed them and I was like, nah, but she's if gonna I If I would have went in there, I would have gotten nerd clusters and Skittles and all the things. So I'm glad that I didn't go in there because I would have done that. So I'm thankful for my husband that he actually listens to me and like gets the things that I like and what I said to get. Like if I would have went in there, I probably would have blown it. But because he went in there, he actually got the things that he's supposed to get. Um, he also got me these chips. They're 290 calories per bag. I'm going to save them for a little bit later down the road trip. Um, there's the nutrition facts. Oh, pick up. I'm going to start editing some vlogs and then try to get into this book. I was telling everybody on TikTok, I'm not into it. Sorry the camera's bumping around, but I'm not really into it yet. I've tried. I've been reading it for the last few days, and there's just nothing special people said that they got to like chapter like five and they were good with it and i think I'm, that's where i'm at and i'm just like i don't know so i'm gonna read it and finish it and see what i think and let you guys go okay friends so it is 124 and i have yet to have any coffee today the celsius did not work i feel like energy drinks like red bulls and celsius's they give me a headache like i was trying to tell gabe i can't really explain it but like i feel like those drinks give me more of a headache than like an actual headache um so i went to starbucks and i went inside and ordered it said it's only 100 calories it's an iced caramel macchiato with light cream one pump of caramel syrup three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and light caramel drizzle this is what the recipe looks like from pinterest and this is what mine looks like i got it but i got it with oh i just spilled i got it with oat milk and um and i got it in a big in a uh you need to mix it. Kind of mix it like that. I got it with oat milk and I got it with uh, grande. So I feel like the calories would be a lot lower since I got it with oat milk and got it in a grande. I'm just get a straw. So they actually gave me a free matcha frappuccino, which I don't like matcha. It kind of just like white chocolate in a way. To me, it tastes like grass. Yeah. I kind of like shrimp. <laughs> so I'm going to just use that straw to mix it. They gave it to me for free. We're not going to drink it, but I've never had matcha, so I really wanted to try it. And I think it tastes like white chocolate with, like, grass and, like, earth in a way. So, I've never really understood the purpose of a macchiato. Like, it's pretty. Like, it's a really pretty drink. But I don't understand. You're supposed to mix it anyways. But, like, why do you get it just to mix it? You know what I'm saying? I agree. Maybe it's the way they brew the coffee. I don't know. It. That's oaty. Because I got it with oatmeal. It's like super oaty. Kind of like oatmeal? I don't like it. <laughs> you can't have this. These are low calorie too, if you guys didn't know. I can't have it. No, I said you can. I said you can have that. Because the coffee is so strong and the oat milk is so oaty, it's like very strong. Here, try this. Try this. You can have this. You try mine. 
Pekin and Drinkities have uh, caffeine. caffeine in them. And they, they're also low calorie, too. It's way but better. But apparently, though. they're high in sugar. Ah, sugar! <laughs> it. it has the juice. It's like oats. <laughs> we need to get a car tripod so that it's not so bumpy. I drink it. That's not bad. I'm trying to edit YouTube videos right now. Also, guys, another reason this camera is really bumpy is um, we're still playing with the settings. It has a setting that allows you to. Um, that allows you to uh, actually um, make it where it's got like this thing where it doesn't bounce and the middle camera thing stays. Stay. It's got those fancy settings. We just don't really know how to do that yet. So yeah, we haven't learned just yet. But y'all look at this weather. This weather crazy. Boo Bear, you chewing on Daddy's Stanley Cup? Yes. Moosey made his way down here with his sister. Him and his sister Kirby are inseparable, like they're best friends. Oh, I said your name. Kirby's still mad at us. But the bu the seatbelt buckles are good for them, I think. It's teaching them to sit back there and it's more safer. But somebody did say on my TikTok that it's not safer for them to sit with the seatbelt because if you if you get in a car wreck, they get stuck. So if you get in a car wreck and the windows open, they can run out. But if they're stuck and they're like lodged in because of the seatbelt. So what's the safest way to travel with your dog? Because if you put it in a kennel, the kennel is going to smush. The kennel is going to roll around, you know? I feel like they should have a certain thing for dogs like really get strapped in like a human. Sweet girl. Look at that girl. Yeah, my baby. She's, she's upset. She's upset because she, she, out of all the dogs. She sits up at the front. She sits in the front. The, the two boys usually sit in the back. And she always sits right next to Gabe or right on me. She either sits right here on this leg or against the, the window. Middle. Or in the, in the middle. But she's been trying to get up here the whole ride. Look at and that face. she's clipped in. So she's not very happy. It's to save you, baby. It's good for Kirby Lou. It's, it's healthy. It's good for her. Yeah. Mm. She's not having it. She's not happy right now. Bruiser is so big, y'all. One more. Oh, yeah. One more. We went to the vet. And Bruzy Bear now weighs... Uh, how much? 15 pounds? 15 pounds. I think it's like 14.8 or something, so basically 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Kirby weighs 28. I was 25. I was 25? And Moosh, big old Moosh. Weighs 58. I was 68. Oh, is it 68? Are you off or am I off? I, I think it's 58. I thought it was 68. Big, big, big Moosh, so uh, Bruiser is supposed to be in between. She said she texted me yesterday and said he shouldn't be more than 40 pounds. Okay, so he'll be around 40 pounds. They're so stinking cute! And my babies. Fun fact, since it's been a while, we got married in Wharton, Texas, and we're actually about to pass that. And so every time we pass by this Bucky's, it reminds me of like our wedding, and it reminds me of like all the nerves, like when we were driving on this road up to the wedding, like all the nervousness that we had the day before, like, oh my gosh, we're getting married tomorrow. We actually got in a big part. We got in a huge fight, it was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask for that story another day. How about we'll do that on our five year anniversary? Yeah, I we'll talk that about that later. Yeah, that, that was a you know? pretty good one. I think because we were just so like nervous on edge and knowing what was about to happen we were just like ah! all the nerves were like strong um but we're about to pass it and i'll show you guys what it looks like um we got married at the orchard at katie creek it's the most beautiful venue um and what i love about it is they basically told us that since we got married there that whenever we get pregnant we can go take family pictures there whenever we have you know a baby shower we can have our baby shower there like they were like they're so awesome like they're just the best.com so we were like you know one day whenever we have like a family and whatever we'll go down there and take pictures and it'll be like our wedding pictures plus our baby pictures will be there i just think it'll be so beautiful um and they're just as nice the nicest people ever Ever. And so if you live in Texas, check them out. Moosey's loving on his brother. Can your brother breathe? I don't know. Can your brother, can you breathe? Is he too big? Is your brother big on you? Okay, is he too big to be on him like that? In between the Walmart and the Buggies, down that little back road, down to the little pecan farm, is where we got married. We got married. And then there's the Whataburger 
wait, where'd the Whataburger go? And we passed it. That it's... was the Whataburger that we ate at, and the thing was, we both got food, and then we just were so, like, not sick to our stomachs, but, like, so nervous. We just, like, ate our french fries and, like, looked at each other, and we were just like, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what you doing? How, how you feeling? We were just, like, laughing and, like, looking at each other like, we know what's about to happen. I'm about to see your vlog. but they're not bad. Um, they are Carolina Reaper uh, almonds. Whoa. I have never seen these. They have three different flavors, so if you guys want me to get to try them out, we can. For the whole packet, it's 260 calories, which for nuts isn't bad because a little bit goes a long way with nuts because they literally are so super filling. I picked up these heat peanuts. I've never seen these, and they were they are 290 calories, so these are kind of higher calories, but like I said, nuts are better than like chips or something. Um, I also got one of my favorite little snackies, which is honey roasted cashews. They're so stinking good. Um, these are 230 calories. Um, and I also got a bag of these pistachios. My friend from work, Chantel, is always eating these. Like, she puts them in her pocket, and she eats them all day. And so I've just been, like, obsessed about them. So the whole packet is 430 calories, or you can have a half a serving for 160. These are really cool because you have to work for it. Like, if you sit there and, like, cut them open, stuff like that, it's, like, a good snack to have. And then I also, I know you do, so I got on. They're really expensive though. They are. Um, they're like nine dollars for that bag. Um, but then I also picked up these popcorners. A few of you guys commented down below about these. You said these are really good. Um, I believe I had them a long time ago. I'm not gonna say I've never had them, but I don't remember trying them. If that makes sense. So I got the kettle corn flavor because I like having a sweet treat. So we could try these later on throughout the video. Um, but yeah, these are the little snacks that I got for me, and we're almost to the station. Okay, so we made it to the country house, and um, my favorite like dip or like snack when it comes to parties or like gas stations is seven layer dip. I just love it so much. So if you've never had it, it's refried beans, like avocado or guacamole, some type of like chipotle ranch sour cream. Then it has like tomatoes, cheese, olives, pico, things like that. Um, and it's really good with tortilla chips. So the Texan is kind of like Bucky's, but just a little bit better. It's different. It's like the same, but different. Um, and they have my favorite Diet Coke with vanilla. I always get a Diet Coke with vanilla from them. Because like I said, it's just the best ever. Like you can't like get a better Diet Coke and vanilla than that gas station. Like, you know, when you have your gas stations that you like, that's my gas station. Like I love it. So I'm going to have me some seven layer dip. Um, I'm not too sure how to track this because each bite is different. I might just go on the app and find one and just kind of do it like that, but it is just so stinking good. Let me know down below if you have ever had this and if you have your own recipe because I've never made it homemade. I've only ever bought it from like Bucky's or a gas station or like Kroger. So let me know down below if you have a good recipe because I'll highly recommend you give me a recipe so I can make it. <laughs> She's good. She's good. She's really, really good. So the main reason I'm here is to hang out with my parents and just have family time and have fun. But there's two other reasons. The other reason is because it's almost bow season and Gabe wants to practice. And the second reason is my parents have a pool. And we want to teach Bridger how to swim. Because as y'all know, he loves to swim. 
So we're gonna get him a life jacket this weekend. Um, teach him how to swim and see how he does in like a bigger pool. Because he's never done it in a bigger pool. He's only ever done like a little baby pool. So we're really excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm I only had a few chips, so I'm just gonna count it for like two tablespoons, maybe. Y'all, I just went around and changed my mom's wax warmers, but I wanted to show you guys how she sets up her warmers. Like, she makes them look like a whole, like, setup. It is so cute. So, she does, like, tiered trays, like, all over the house. Um, she took tiered tray to the next level. Um, but hers are just so cute. Like, that's a warmer back there, and you would never even know. Like, I just think it's so cute. And then over here on the kitchen, like, the coffee area, she has this Raised on Country Sunshine warmer, and she, like, just decorates it so cute. And then over here as well, which is like a little country house. Um, it's my Mimi's house. It's like super old. She has this tiered tray, which she has that one back there. And then she has this one right here. It just looks so stinking cute. 